Hello, my friends. Carl Smith, international hypnotist and coach. And we are going through 254 questions and answers uh, on hypnosis and hypnotherapy. So over the next uh, few weeks, we're going to be talking about this. 254 questions and answers of practical hypnotism by Emil Franchel. This book was done in 1957. And if you followed the other ones, you'll get an idea. And you can go have a look at the book or the ideas. But the idea is we're going to have a look at what happened in 1957, their thoughts and ideas then. And we're going to come back and have a look at what we think in the modern day world, right? So this is no way in dis to dis disrespect Emil in any way. Things may have changed because the constraints he had, I don't have anymore. So there we go. Question number two. If you've not seen number one, go back to that one. Question is, who can be hypnotized? His answer, Emil's answer was, every person with reasonable intelligence, with a fair vocabulary, and normal, normally able to concentrate to a moderate degree can be hypnotized to a depth of varying with each with depth varying with each person or individual now i've always maintained this because one of the key questions for a hypnotist is is that um i don't think i can be hypnotized uh i i um can i be hypnotized is everybody um able to be hypnotized now, the key thing about this is, is this comes back to the education of the hypnotist and what the hypnotist does as well. Because if you are a hypnotist watching this and you're not educating your clients on what you do, that's one of the reasons why you're probably not have, you're having mistakes. But can everybody be hypnotized? Yes. When I'm normally out and about and people say anything, to try and get them to, to, to get them on board, I normally say to people, you need more than two brain cells to be able to be hypnotized. That's all you need. Because one of the key things about this is I firmly believe that everyone can be hypnotized, as Emil says in his book. It's whether they want it or not, and whether they are in the environment that they want to do it as well. So do they really want it? Do they meet the threshold test? Are they doing it just because they can do it? Or are they in the wrong environment? So stage shows, for instance. Some people will go on a, on a hypnosis stage show. They'll go on stage. To, to just make their friends happy, but they don't actually want to be there. Same principle when people come to therapy or they come to see me in the office. They come to see me, but they don't necessarily want to be hypnotized. And even though I'm a hypnotist, that's really weird. But on the same token, it's because I didn't do the pre-checks. And I didn't do what I call all of my, my pre-checks and all of the pre-talk prior to the person turning up. So in answer to the question, yes, everyone can be hypnotized. Does everybody want to be hypnotized? No. Will somebody put resistance in even though they've said yes <laughs> all day long? But your job, if you are a hypnotist, is to negate that. And if you're not a hypnotist, is to understand the fact of this is your responsibility and your job, not the hypnotists. So everyone can be hypnotized, in my personal opinion. And the good thing is, is if you want to be hypnotized, you'll go. Belief and expectation, my friends. Anyway, that's, that's number two of 254 questions and answers. And for Practical Hypnotism by Emil Franchel and Carl Smith. Till the next one, my friends. Take care for now, and I'll speak to you soon. Look forward to the next one.